in your case it's a little bit more interesting because you're still in school right you're in the final year and i've had students in the past who've basically taken the fe exam and passed you know before even they graduate thought that hardly few engineers um, maybe less than 20% in the united states they get this license so i had a self doubt on myself whether i'm too eligible for this am i in the top 20% uh, and now you were telling me offline that having gone through the fe exam preparation having gone through the on demand content now when you're taking some of these classes for the first time you're finding them super easy right that's true that's really true so it was like moving a mountain uh, one by one by carrying small pieces together so that's that's how i look at the course and i have to tell you that you are more than a mentor to me you gave me uh, uh, knowledge on how to speak you told me how to you told me to read specific books called atomic habits by james clear and all those and all together it helped me ace this exam Good morning Niteshwar how are you Good morning sir how have you been I'm doing very well so happy new year to you Niteshwar and a what a wonderful way to start the new year right Yes you took the FE exam December end of December 26th 26th right and got the result uh, early in January that you passed the FE on your first attempt Yes sir first of all it would have been nothing without all your support so all the glory and exalt is to you and your on demand course. So oh, I appreciate that. I mean you're the one who is basically doing the hard work. I was just a guide, right? So the interesting thing about your story in the Teshwar is that and I have a lot of students who are passing every single week the FE exam, right? In your case it's a little bit more interesting because you're still in school, right? You're in the yes. final. And I've had students in the past who have basically taken the FE exam and passed, you know, before even they graduate. Um and your fe journey really started back in third year if i'm not mistaken right you were still in third yeah. year mill you had come across this thing called the fe exam eid certificate you're an internationally trained engineer from india uh, sorry international student, student from, from india, india. Uh, you haven't done your undergraduate yet you're doing your undergraduate right now in the us and you're like uh, i want to you know add this credential so how will it help me I gave you a quick overview as to how the EID certificate really helps new graduates and you decided to bite the bullet and jump into the preparation and one of the first questions I remember you asked me was that uh was seem I still have not basically gone through a lot of the coursework that is required over here right so these are some of the courses I'm going to be taking in my third year and fourth year later on so do you think that this course of yours uh, this program that you've put together is going to help me So what are your thoughts about that now Niteshwar after having gone through the program and passing the exam So first of all before taking this exam as I called you one day I uh, had a thought that hardly few engineers um, maybe less than 20% in the United States they get this license So I had a self doubt on myself whether I'm too eligible for this am I in the top 20% percent but your on demand course gave me a confidence so you don't have to be strong in the course strong in your undergraduate or even if you haven't taken your course even if you haven't taken your college degree uh, college courses yet your course gave me all the content right from the scratch to what i need actually more than what i need that was a plus point and you had a very comfortable uh, exam experience i'm sure that you worked uh, very hard while managing your um, main uh, you know curriculum at the college at the university while studying for this exam and that's why you chose the holidays to take the exam um, and now you were telling me offline that having gone through the fe exam preparation having gone through the on demand content now when you're taking some of these classes for the first time you're finding them super easy right that's true that's really true so it was like moving a mountain uh, one by one by carrying small pieces together so that's that's how i look at this course and i have to tell you that you were more than a mentor to me you gave me uh, uh, knowledge on how to speak you told me how to you told me to read specific books called atomic habits by james clear and all those and all together it helped me ace this exam Yeah well uh, congratulations i mean i recommend these things on my youtube channel as well and to my students on my live classes uh, as well especially those who ask right so i think we are living in a world where there is um 
information overload so information is around everywhere but very few of us i think take uh, those um, planned actions towards a goal right and that's what distinguishes high achievers from mediocrity right so in your case you took the advice so that's all good and atomic habits and a lot of the non fiction genre just going a little bit off track they help those who are seeking help really all of these books right so implementation and execution is where most of the people fail uh, i think there's tons of information out there so kudos to you for taking the advice and working on it now for somebody for another niteshwar right who's in fourth year about to graduate or has not taken some of these courses um power system to um or maybe computer networks or computer systems or software engineering digital systems one digital systems to microelectronics these type of things that are that really show up in the second half of the exam uh, of the exam specification right um uh, having gone through this process yourself would you rather have waited a little bit longer or are you in a much better position i don't want to put you know words in your mouth but going forward now you're about to graduate with the ap exam done right um do you foresee and maybe this is more of a speculation because you don't know how busy you're going to be right after you graduate right is it, is it not a better place to be that you have the fe out of the way right even though it was might might have been a little bit of a rough journey learning some things for the first time think this is my right time i uh, i took this exam what i think is uh, taking every chances chances in life is the main thing because some things only happen once and i'm sure having a eit certificate so soon and having a strong foundation as a result of it will make me become a productive engineer in the future yes and it will help I'm lift your profile my... it will lift yeah, your that's, profile that's, definitely that's the main thing and especially as somebody who is new to the us right uh, you are going to be establishing your career right uh, every thing that you encounter you have to do it you know give it your best shot because margin of error is kind of slim for you uh, as compared to somebody who went through you know undergraduate studies uh, over here who went to high school over here they already have an extended network of friends and family and you know maybe mentors and for them maybe landing that internship landing the first job through their network is or somebody guiding them along the way is a little bit easier but uh, in your case you really need to latch on to every single opportunity as you put it right and the eit certificate is definitely going to help you so thanks a lot for your time niteshwar it was a short and sweet uh, interview um, a lot of these interviews that i do are with students who have gone ahead and passed the fe and pe with me so i look forward to seeing you in my pe program very soon and we'll do another more detailed interview once you pass your pe i'm sure you'll be my mentor not only for this exam but throughout my life Thanks a lot. Looking forward to it. Thank you. Thanks Nitesh for. If you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe this channel. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section of this video below. You can find tons of stories of my FE electrical and P power students over here. And if you want to learn more about preparation of these exams then click here to learn more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video.